what's going on YouTube? I just want to uh, share the experience that this customer had with her failing 1998, 98, that's a 1988 Honda Prelude uh, 2.0 SI, race car. Oh, okay. She came in, failing Knox, gross polluting on Knox, got a diagnosis. Um, they figured out that the EGR valve wasn't working properly. So they took the EGR valve off, cleaned all the ports into it. When they applied vacuum, now they have this stumbling idle. Oh, you want to know how to check the EGR valve? The vacuum line to the EGR valve right here. Give it vacuum. If the car wants to die or dies, you know the EGR valve is working. If you get no change in RPM or uh, little to no stumble, then EGR valve is clogged, not working. It's time to figure it out. So they cleaned everything out, uh, brought it back for a smog. It was still uh, gross polluting on Knox. Uh, the lady found out online that her catalytic converter was bad. <laughs> and uh, they put a cat on. Got the same exact readings. Uh, come to find out, I, I mentioned to them, like, did you make sure you got the uh, vacuum going to the EGR? And so the mechanic finally checked that. No, they were not getting vacuum sent to the EGR valve. Everything else is working properly, and if you added vacuum manually, it mechanically worked. Uh, but putting the vehicle under load and checking for vacuum at the uh, control hose, whatever, they had no vacuum there. What they did is they figured out all the schematics and everything in your little vacuum control box. On this particular vehicle, this solenoid right here was bad. Uh, you give it power and ground, it wouldn't release the vacuum to the EGR valve. They replaced that valve uh, right here, and it now works. It's passing smog, uh, everything's a-okay. So, her experience, failing Knox, 1988 Honda Prelude 2.0 SI. Hope this helps. If you have any questions about anything, shoot me a message. Like, subscribe. We'll see you soon.